So the first thing you want to do when you're steaming milk, uh, making lattes on the Mr. Coffee espresso machine, is remove the froth aider. There's a plastic tube on here that uh, is called a froth aider, and it helps you, at least they claim it helps you, make bubbles. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in a better way, because the bubbles that it makes are too large. You end up with a really cakey, dry uh, latte, and I'm going to show you how to make a nice microfoam latte. Um, but the first thing you have to do is remove that uh, froth aider. It slides right on off. So uh, with the cap on and following the instructions, you want to fill the Mr. Coffee Maker with just a little bit of hot water. And I like to do hot water because uh, this is steam driven, so it has to heat up and use that steam to power the wand. If you start off with hot water, it just takes less time for it to get going. So I already got my hot water in there. You see it's pretty much starting up now. Now I like to keep a cup right here because even if you have it off for a few seconds it will drop below that boiling temperature and for that reason it starts to produce a lot of water like you can see that water coming out so i just hold this down and uh, let that come right back on up to temperature as you can see it's sputtering right now and you can kind of hear it uh, boiling so that's pretty much good enough right there at this point i'm going to go ahead and put that to the side i already have my milk and cold brew mixed together. I like to steam cold brew mixed with milk and make a latte with that. Uh, you can add any sweeteners uh, instead of pulling shots with the Mr. Coffee because it pulls horrible shots. Uh, I'm using my coffee, in this case Kyoto Black, uh, just because I like the chocolatey flavors that it has. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your milk and uh, coffee mixture and just go right below the surface. I'm going to come in a little closer so you can see this. Go right below the surface using the wand. Now next, we're going to go on. Immediately you want to come up and just ride the surface like this and start making all these small bubbles. You're going to make a lot of small bubbles. It's going to take a while. Now with a commercial espresso machine, I would probably be done steaming by now, but because this is a low power machine, I'm going to be doing a lot of stretching which is uh, making bubbles, that's called stretching. So I'm stretching my bubbles out right now, I'm making a lot of them. I'm spending way more time than I would ever spend stretching on a, a normal commercial espresso machine. So once I'm done with that part, I'm gonna go under the surface now and try to mix those bubbles in. Now, when you're using a commercial machine, typically you would stretch and then start mixing and you would never go back to stretching, but with this one, because it is so low powered, sometimes you need to come back out and do a little more stretching and that helps you mix it even more. You see now I'm, I'm, I'm mixing with the stretch, which is something you never ever see uh, on a commercial machine. They're just too powerful. Now I'm going to just do this until it comes up to a nice temperature and shut it off, set it down. Wipe this off, turn it on and purge out whatever gunk that got into the steam wand. And uh, the way you can tell it's at a nice temperature is either you can use a thermometer or you can just use your sense of touch and you just want to touch it like this and then it should just have some residual heat on your hand, maybe for like a two Mississippi sort of residual heat. Uh, once you have this all steamed up here, you can just go ahead and pour it into whatever cup you like. So you can see we got a pretty decent foam on this. It's not crazy cakey. Uh, it's not as good as you would have on a commercial machine, but this is uh, vastly underpowered compared to those machines. But for uh, 40 bucks, it gets you a pretty good result. So um, share this video if you liked it and uh, leave a comment below. Thanks.